All right, what's up? So, Alex Terrible shows up in my feed last night while I'm laying in bed. Uh, you know, everybody does this when they're, you know, they're laying down and they're on their phones like this and, you know, nearly or already have dropped that brick of an iPhone or whatever phone it is you have straight on your goddamn nose. And let me tell you, it hurts. Anyways, that's what I was doing. And sorry, I'm looking down. I'm peeling myself an orange because... You would think I'm like pregnant or something. I'm craving oranges like crazy. Little clementines. Look at these little bad boys. They look delicious. Right? Looks good. Anyways, uh, he shows up in my uh, YouTube feed. And uh, this is the video that pops up. Pantera, Cemetery Gates. By far, one of my most favoriteest. Yeah, that's right. My most favoriteest Pantera songs out there. Um, and... I will mention, too, with that being said, one of my favorite songs, Phil Anselmo, the singer of Pantera, um, his voice back in the day, like in that era, amazing, unmatched, you know, his highs, everything like, does anybody actually know this or even remember um, Pantera before they were like thrash metal, kind of power metal, heavy metal, whatever you want to call it. They were like a glam metal band. And if you don't know, I think you should uh, Google that shit and have a look because it was pretty fucking majestic. And I think you need to have a look. Anyways, that being said, Alex Terrible with his uh, vocals the way that they are, <clears throat> his growls, his deeps, his demonic voice. I'm interested to see on how he covers this song and where he takes it. I have no idea. So let's do it. All right. First oh. thing first, if you are really huge Pantera fan yep like uh, I recommend you to not to listen to this song to this cover because I'm gonna ruin this song my clean vocal sucks well there you have it at least the man uh, warned us and he's probably wrong but let's see <laughs> interesting I think we will see
It's definitely different. Um, the instrumentals, whoever the musicians are doing that, uh, they're pretty damn good. But I'll get into Alex's part in a second. I'm going to listen some more. Dude's not fucking this up though. He said he sucks. I don't think so. Okay, hold on. Okay. Listen. Who does that remind you of? <clears throat> to me, he's got a Lemmy kind of sound to him. Don't rip my head off in the comments or whatever, but if you agree, right? Come on. You cannot deny that shit. It's like, I'm not saying exactly, but pretty damn close. For me, it reminds me of him. Yeah. All day, bud. There it is. I like it. Oh wait, this is gonna be interesting. He's got some highs, really highs coming. He's not gonna do highs. If he does, wow. And pulls him off, even more wow. But I think he's gonna growl. Okay, that was Lemmy all day long. Not there. Here. So right there, where he's supposed to be doing technically the highs, you hear the guitar? Listen, the little high-pitched squeal. So Phil's voice is supposed to be basically going with Dime's guitars there. <sighs> okay. Um, 
Do I think it's one of his best? No, but I think he did really good. Um, you know, I kind of like his, his uh, you know, heavier, you know, demonic thing more. I mean, that's what we know and love Alex for. But do I think he should give up on this? No, absolutely not. He should absolutely keep pushing this. And I personally think um, with some vocal coaching and keep in mind, I'm not a singer. I'm not a vocal coach. Nothing. I know nothing about vocals. And I'm one of those dudes that sings in the shower and sings in the bathroom and like tries to sing with the music. And then when I hear myself with no music, I sound like like dog shit. So just my personal opinion and, and my my, you know, experience of listening to music right i guess um maybe with some vocal coaching he could take this farther if he wanted to right and it would open up a whole new like you know avenue of opportunity for him maybe i don't know you know what he seems like he's uh, an awesome dude he seems pretty stubborn too you know from uh, some interviews i've watched him in and all that other stuff and he likes it heavy he likes his heavy metal you know um do i think he sucks no was he wrong about that? Yeah, man. Like he said at the beginning, he warned us, you know, my clean suck. And if you're a fan of Pantera, he's like, don't listen because it's going to be shit. And you know what? Hats off to him for, uh, you know, being true to the Pantera fans. Cause I bet you some of them were in here going like, ah, what the fuck? That sucks. I have never read any of the comments and maybe I should, but you never know. You might get some haters in there ripping on them and stuff. Some old, uh, some dad metal rockers and stuff. But uh, I personally think it was good. You know, it's always good to hear like hear a cover tune. And I don't mean like a pop band covering a fucking metal song. I don't mean that shit. What I mean is other metal uh, bands or rock bands and stuff covering that kind of stuff. Just this genre of music is what I'm talking about specifically. Right. And it's good to see, especially on up and coming stars like this dude, you know, uh, big bands, shit like that. Um, it's just a def different outlook on, uh, you know, a different take on some of the, the songs. And they are very different. You know, uh, Alex Terrible with Slaughter to Prevail, their style um, put them up against Pantera. Two completely different styles of metal. But, you know, you're not necessarily merging the two, but you cover it. I don't know. I'm just ranting on, but I think it's uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think he did really good with these vocals. And like I said, he wants to keep pushing it. Do some vocal coaching. If not, keep pushing it without it. I don't give a shit. Um, I support it. I think it's good. And yeah, if you disagree with me, him sounding like Lemmy on certain little spots, you're high, high as a kite. Anyway, my opinion. But uh, anyway, help this uh, channel with the algorithm on YouTube. You know, uh, I'm almost at 5,000 subs. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I never thought I'd be here. I never thought I'd even pass like a thousand subs you know, whatever. My art channel I'm busy with and I'm not even at 500 subs yet. And that just goes to show, you know, pure talent is getting thrown in the fucking toilet. But it is what it is. I see where the algorithm is, whatever. So since it's here, help the algorithm, share, like, comment, subscribe, all that other shit. I'm sure if I went into the settings and the analytics, it'll show like probably more than half the people that watch some of my videos are not even subbed. So do me a favor and sub and come over and eat some oranges and ass with me and drink a tea and listen to some metal and whatever else uh, I decide to react to. So yeah. We'll see you on the next one.